Okay. December 22nd. Yeah. December 22nd. Hills Creek Lake, my first outing of the year. Got everything all ready. Let's go out and try it. I didn't bring my cable for my nine hour battery pack, so I'm stuck to using just this little battery. These are the best things ever invented, these little velcro doohickeys here. Keep the hooks getting tangled up and everything. a truck but I forgot my chew. So I think I'll do that. Wait for flying. They're not biting when you walk that far away and you don't get a fly. But that's okay. We'll see. We'll wait a while. High sun, blue skies. Not an ideal day. bottom right there I thought it was weeds I send my line all the way down and it just sits right right there so it's not going down below any weeds I'm just right on top of them muck probably just muck There's a fish. There's that fishy. Real tiny. Right below my trying to get him to come up. I'll just still see what he does. I only have a mealworm his tackle shack was out of wax worms. Sold out. They're supposed to come here this afternoon or tomorrow. Stop at Timmy's. See if he's got some. I have maggots and mealworms. I get a kick out of people trying to watch their flashers on on their YouTube channels and. Uh, I played around with the settings on my camera and you have to change the refresh rate. If you get the refresh rate, I can't remember what the number was now, but if you get that, you can see your um, flasher on the camera without it just jumping all over the screen like it, it scrolls. I was watching one last night and it was doing that. He kept trying to watch his flasher but you couldn't see what he was doing
someday we'll figure it out. Today would have been a good day to bring my underwater camera. Ever since I bought that crazy aqua view, the battery level, it will last an hour or two and then it's dead. I mean, just dead. That's, I never use the light on the camera because all you see is plankton and bubbles and everything just floating around down there. You can't see anything. It, it blinds the screen. So I ordered a new Max something battery that's supposed to be really good. And it was only $23. I really wanted to go with a lithium battery because a lithium battery would last a lot longer, but it was 53, so I thought, well, I'll try this other Max and see how long that lasts. So I left it plugged in. I charged the battery all up and I left it plugged in while I was watching TV and just sitting on the bed with the camera pointing towards me. And I left it there four or five hours and it was only down one bar on the battery indicator. Of course, that's in the warm apartment too, not out on the ice. But I was pretty impressed that I think I might be able to use it a little longer now. But the thing is like, I don't know, I didn't weigh, I'm gonna weigh it because the thing's like eight or nine pounds. Maybe not, maybe five, but that's just that much more weight I gotta carry. That's why I don't carry it much. Now nah, it's spinning. See, it's laying there with it. Oh, yeah, it's... No. Just can't get him. He was laying there. He took it clear over there. Took my minnow. Uh, try again. Uh. funny I bought those two polar tip-ups at the Tackle Shack's open house and I put the line on the wrong direction compared to all the other tip-ups because <laughs> I have to wind it backwards I just moved to where I normally fish oh heck he's lively <sighs> Oh, I'm setting my tip ups up over here for the afternoon. Non existent bike. Yeah. And we'll see what happens. Just like that. A little perchy. Ah, see, my little perchy. Mm. I moved. Didn't even hardly get set up. And perchy won't open his mouth. Come on, perchy. Mm. 
I know you want to keep that meal, but I need my minnow and my hook back. You know, thank you very much. Because you're going home anyway. Alright, I gotta get my minnows. Finally got a fish. <sighs> I wish I could fix my I wish I could fix my little pump. That minnow's not very lively, lively, but I'm going to put him down here anyway. Maybe he'll liven up. <clears throat> now I got another one. Now I got another flag. Come on. Let me go see this one. Not doing anything? I think I'll just take a jigging rod out and put another tip up in. Two of them coming out, but slippery bugger. to go around that every time. Huh? Huh? Why? I can catch the same baby over and over. <laughs> he's, he's a pain in the butt, but he's a fish. Are you tired? Of, you didn't get my uh, bait this time.
It's one thing about the flasher, you can you can actually watch your jig go down into the weeds. Where my graphs, it's very hard to tell if it's just sinking into the weeds or if it's just laying on the bottom. I think the flashers are have more separation and a thinner a thinner uh, line for the jig. With the sonars, the line's pretty thick. But it's also neat to watch the fish come up and look at them on a graft type. And I'm not into spending fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars for one of them stupid panoptic things and forward facing sonars to catch a couple of perch or bluegill. That's just just stupid in my book. I mean got the money, I guess, but I like the old-fashioned way more. See that one went off? Something was pulling on it before. Yeah. I'm trying to save my minnow. And I did. I did save him long enough to try him again. Yeah, I just killed him. Mm. Too deep. Set the hook. And I didn't clean my ice out from around my hole. That makes it a pain in the ass. not one of my good batteries so it probably only has like 60% charge but I've had fun my legs are cold because my pants are so wet because I'm too lazy to put my bibs on today but it's really not that cold it got up I don't know what the temperature is right now because I don't have a I can check on my phone but uh, it was supposed to get up to high 30s today, but 
This morning it was 15 when I left the house. I think it was around 20 when I got here. But very little wind, like dead still. Oh, it's 36. 36 right now, so that's not too bad. Wondered why my pants weren't freezing. They're wet, but they didn't freeze. Got another little guy. How many of them guys can I catch? Goodbye. <laughs> I can catch the same baby one over and over and over and over. But not mama. It's funny. All I'm doing is if you lay it, if you lay it on the bottom. Just let it lay loose down there on the bottom for just a minute or 30 seconds even and then pick it up very slowly he'll come take it and when he takes it he feels bigger than he is he just like tugs on it pretty hard but then then he just kind of just a little guy <laughs> he's a pain in the butt, but he's a fish. Are you tired of? You didn't get my uh, bait this time. You didn't get my bait that time. Now that's a keeper. <laughs> that's the smallest one yet. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Got another old guy. Can I catch? Goodbye. <laughs> he chased it all the way up. I pulled it away from him twice. There he is, hitting it again. It's crazy. Mm. How many of you are down there? Mm. Mm. I'm gonna go home at the very best time. I got stuff to do at home. I gotta get my mini tank ready tonight. Got about three dozen mini, so I gotta get them in my tank. I got my tip ups up. Just gotta get this stuff picked up and over to Tackle Shack before I head home. And then I gotta get my mineral tank ready tonight and got a lot to do. So I'm gonna go before dark. Have a good day.